Hello and welcome. I'm Nicole from Flow Into Nature. This is the last class in the Deepen Your Practice with Repetition series. In this class, we're going to combine everything we've been working on all month long and put it together into a nice little flow. It'll have most of the postures from Classic 26, but with a twist. So we'll go ahead and get started at the back of your mat. In child's pose, bring your knees out wide, big toes to touch, and bring your arms forward. Place your forehead on the mat. Inhale through your nose. Big exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, begin to reach your arms forward, pressing your palms into the mat. Exhale, sink your hips towards your heels, feeling your spine elongate. Begin to become aware of your breath. Just noticing where you feel it, in your belly, in your nose, in your chest. Is it shallow? Is it deep? How's your body feeling today? Any areas of tightness? Any areas that feel loose and good? coming into this present moment. Letting go of any remaining thoughts from your day. And giving this time to you. Let go of all to-dos, anything that's happened, anything that is going to happen. And be present. Be present for this class. Be present for yourself. One big inhale through the nose. Big exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Press into your palms. Come up into tabletop. Bring your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Inhale, drop your belly, reach your heart forward, cow pose. Exhale, cat, round your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Cow, reach your hips up towards the sky as you reach your heart forward. Exhale, cat. Press into your palms as you round your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. A couple more on your own, matching your breath to your movement. When you're ready, we'll find a neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes and send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. If you'd like to, you can walk your dog here, bending into one leg, maybe the other, taking any other movements that you need to to warm up. Your hands are about shoulder width and distance. Press into your palms. Reach your hips up towards the sky. Bend into the knees as much as you need to here. Pull in your belly button. And slowly let your heels begin to melt towards the earth. Inhale. Exhale. 
One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet forward to the top of the mat, coming into a forward fold. Bend into your knees a lot here and grab opposite elbows. Let your head hang heavy and bring your weight into your toes. Maybe if you'd like to, you can rock side to side. Releasing the low spine. If you'd like to, you can shake your head. You roll it out, whatever feels good to you. This is your practice. I'm just offering suggestions, but please always listen to your body. You know what's best for you. And child's pose is always there for you if you need it. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Bring your palms to the mat. Toe heel your feet to touch. Bend into the knees. And gently begin to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Slowly coming to standing. Once you reach the top, keep reaching your arms, heart, and eyes towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. We'll do that once again. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Look up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Close down your eyes. We'll take a moment to set an intention for class today. How would you like to feel by the end of this class? How do you want to feel for the rest of your day? Think of a word and hold it in your mind. Inhale. Exhale, release, let it go. Beautiful. Blink open your eyes. Take a nice little smile and we'll go ahead and get started. The top of your mat, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers, just releasing the pointer fingers. Look straight in front of you. Bring your weight into the heels and pull up on the knees. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, really lifting up and out of your shoulders. Finding length, maybe you grew three inches. Reach up, exhale, point towards the right, hips out towards the left. Inhale, exhale, straighten your arms, straighten your elbows, straighten your wrists and your fingers, really reaching towards the side. If you need to, you can bend into the right knee. Beautiful, one more breath here. Pull that right shoulder forward, left hip forward. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, coming back to center. Reach all the way up. Exhale, point towards the left this time. Gaze is still forward. Inhale, straighten your legs, exhale. If you want to, once again, you can bend into that left knee. It might make it a little bit more comfortable for you. Inhale, exhale, straighten your arms, pulling your elbows towards each other. Inhale, come back to center. Inhale, look up at your fingers, sit your hips down and back, coming in for a back bend. Squeeze your thighs together, weight comes into the heels. Inhale, look up. And on the exhale, we'll begin to point towards the back of the room and your gaze follows your fingers, opening your chest, really opening up behind your heart, letting it feel good. Inhale, coming back up. Gaze comes up, stand, bring your feet hips width and distance, and with your arms still by your side, we'll begin to fold all the way forward, bend into the knees as much as you need, 
until your hands reach the ground. You can bend into the knees a lot if you need to here. Bring your weight forward. That'll help you be able to reach the ground. And if it's still hard for you, you can always bring a block underneath your hands. All right, if you're able to reach the ground, bring your hands behind your legs, maybe even on your calves, on your ankles, or if you can, underneath your heels. Beautiful. If you have your hands under your heels, you can use that to pull your fingers towards your heels and find a longer spine. Inhale. Exhale, release, tuck your chin to your chest. Release your fingertips here. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your palms to your thighs. Find a nice straight spine and pull your shoulder blades together. Weight comes into your toes. Inhale. Exhale, release, bend into your knees if you need. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, finding a nice long spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, plank pose. You can always take this from your knees. Push forward so your shoulders are over your wrists. Squeeze your palms towards each other to help engage your pecs. And gently tuck your tailbone. Inhale, exhale, squeeze everything in towards the center, come on to your tippy toes, you're so strong, look at you go, inhale, shift forward, exhale, bring your knees, your chest, and your chin to the mat, squeeze your elbows in, we're going to slide forward like a snake, bringing the tops of your toes to the mat. Preparing for Cobra Pose. Press your hip bones into the mat. Exhale all your stale air. <sighs> Inhale, begin to reach your chest forward. Gaze this forward, maybe toward the big tip of your nose. Pressing your big toes into the mat, so much so that your knees lift up. This means you're engaging your glutes, which is exactly what we want here. Beautiful, inhale, exhale, release. Press into the palms, open your knees wide, child's pose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, fill up all the love you have. Exhale, release. Inhale, tabletop. Tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take one breath here. Inhale, press your palms into the mat. Exhale, send your hips towards the sky. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up with a straight spine. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to flow that one more time. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, interlacing your fingers, just releasing the pointer fingers. Reach all the way, all the way up. Exhale, point towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, point towards the left. Inhale, coming up. Sit your hips down and back. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale, standing up tall. Exhale, folding forward, bending into the knees as much as you need. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step your feet back, plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bring your knees, your chest, and your chin to the mat. Inhale, sliding forward, bringing the tops of your toes to the mat. Press in and press your hips into the ground. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, cobra. Exhale, press into the mat, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more just like that. Inhale. Pull in your belly button. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll be doing the awkward chair pose series now. So bring your feet hips width and distance. And weight is gonna be in the heels, in your heels here. Reach your arms forward and have all of your palms to touch, squeezing them in together. This will help with balance and keeping your mind focused. Find one point of focus in front of you. Sit your hips down and back. Remove the C curve from your back by gently tucking your tailbone. Weight is in your heels, reaching your arms forward. If you feel that your shoulders are really high, go ahead and release them away from your ears, finding space between your shoulders and your ears to find a nice long neck. Sit down a little bit lower. Squeeze your, your knees towards each other. Make sure your legs are fully engaged and starting to wake up. You should be feeling great right now. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And release, coming to standing. Keep your arms out nice and strong. You've got this. This time we're gonna come all the way on to your tippy toes, reaching your heels up to the sky. With a straight spine, we're gonna begin to bend into the knees, really reaching the heels up super high, coming onto the balls of your toes. Slowly begin to sink down like you're sitting in a chair. Reach your arms forward. Your spine should be nice and straight, like you're against the wall. Find your point of focus. If you fall out, that's okay. Just come right back in. Can you sit a little lower? Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly coming all the way back up and releasing the heels. <laughs> Great job. One more part in the series. Okay. Arms are still reaching forward. They might be talking to you and that's okay. We're focusing on our breath and not what our arms are saying. We've got this. We're doing great. We're going to feel so strong. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this. Lift your knees up or your heels up about an inch off the mat and pull your knees together. Again, we're going to slowly begin to sit down, keeping your spine nice and straight. We want to keep our hips over our above our knees, but we're going to come down much lower this time, maybe lower than if you're sitting in a chair. Squeeze your knees together like there's a diamond between them, and you don't want to let the diamond go. Reach your arms forward. It helps with balance. Inhale. Exhale. Once again, inhale. Exhale, we'll slowly begin to rise. Ooh, not that slow. <laughs> release your legs, release your heels, bring your feet back together. Finally, release your arms. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and shake them out. Let it feel really good. Wonderful. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare for our first eagle. We're gonna do eagle twice today. I think it's the only posture we're going to do twice, so we'll have fun with it. Um, I like to start with my feet at hips within distance, so I feel pretty balanced. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, release the right arm underneath the left, bringing your palms to touch. If this feels like a lot, grab opposite elbows. All right, sit your hips down and back and bring the right leg up and over the left. You can use your big toe as a kickstand to help you keep your balance or you can wrap it behind your ankle going for a double bind. Sit your hips down and reach your heart forward. 
pull your elbow towards your belly button. Find your point of focus. Squeeze everything in towards the center. This is great for all of your joints. We're finding a nice compression on the 14 major joints here. We want to align everything underneath the nose if possible. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, release. Bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up once again. Exhale, left arm comes under the right, palms to touch, or opposite elbows. Nope, opposite shoulders. <laughs> Wonderful. Sit your hips down and back. This time we're going to reach the left leg up and over the right. Again, using the big toe as a kickstand. Or trying to go for that double bind, wrapping your toes behind your ankle. Sit your hips down and back. Reach your heart forward as you pull your elbows in. Find your point of focus. Something in front of you that isn't moving. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, squeeze everything in towards the center. Exhale. Inhale, release, stand up tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Wonderful. Now we'll begin our balancing series. So we're going to go ahead. We'll start by balancing on the left foot. So lift the right knee up, 90 degree angle. You can reach your arms up towards the sky and find your balance. Really pressing into the big toe, straightening your left leg by pulling up on the knee and engaging your glutes. If your leg is straight and you feel really stable here, you can continue. If your knee is still bent, I want you to practice straightening into it and feeling really sturdy before you move on. All right, if you're ready to move on, we'll bring the palms underneath the foot. If you still feel good here, your leg's nice and straight, not bending. If you're bending your leg, again, keep practicing straightening it. Just go from bent to straight as much as you need to, and you'll begin to build that strength. Bring your weight forward, gazes forward. Slowly begin to extend your right foot out. Flex your foot, gazes forward. Beautiful. If this still feels sturdy, maybe you begin to bend your elbows down. And last, your gaze will come onto your knee. Inhale. Exhale. We'll come out the same way we came in. Straighten your arms, bend your knee. Bring your foot to the mat. Stand up tall. Great job. Go ahead and shake out your foot if you need to. And we'll do the other side. All right, standing up tall, waist in the heels. Bring your left knee up to a 90 degree. Find your balance on your right foot. Straighten your leg, engage your glutes. Beautiful, find your point of focus. Once you feel sturdy, we're gonna round your spine like a cat and grab underneath the foot. Bring your weight forward, pressing into your big toe. Again, if your knee is bent here, instead of trying to straighten your left leg, go ahead and practice straightening your right leg and engaging that glute. That's going to be much more beneficial for you in the long run. Okay, so if your leg is straight, your right leg's straight, and you feel really sturdy, you're going to go ahead and slowly begin to straighten that left leg out. If this still feels good, begin to pull your left knee down. Your left knee. <laughs> nope, I want you to pull your elbows down towards the earth. 
gaze this still forward. And if you're feeling it, begin to look towards your knee, maybe even bringing your forehead to your knee. Inhale, exhale. And we'll slowly begin to come out of it. Gaze comes forward, straighten the arms, bend the knee and come to standing. Great job. Now go ahead and shake out your legs. And we'll come into our next balance, standing bow pose. Okay, great. We'll start on the left leg once again. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. On the exhale, bend your right elbow and bring it to your right hip. Bend your right knee and grab onto the inside of your right foot, just below where the big toe is. You want all of your fingers on the same side. Wonderful. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And on the exhale, at the same time, we're going to reach the left arm forward as we press the foot into the hand, coming into a nice little back bend. All right, inhale, reach up. Exhale, create your tension, reaching your left arm forward, pressing your foot into your hand. If you can, bring your shoulder, your chin to your shoulder for a nice twist above the navel. Find your point of focus for three, for two. We're still standing up nice and tall, reaching your leg for one and release. Beautiful. We'll prepare for the other side. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, left elbow to your left. Nice, that's your hip. <laughs> and bend your left knee, grabbing onto the inside. Beautiful. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, coming into bow, reach your right arm forward as you press your left foot into your hand. Bring your shoulder, your chin to your shoulder as you reach forward. Find your point of focus. Inhale. Exhale. Standing up tall still, reaching your heart forward. One more breath here. You come out, press into your foot. Press your foot into your hand and come out. Wonderful job. All right, we have our last balance here. We're gonna to come to standing stick pose. So coming to the back of your mat, we'll take a cleansing breath, breath first. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, releasing just your finger pointers and clasping your hands. Take one step with your right foot, point your left toes back. Really reach your arms forward like we did in the beginning of class and press your arms against your ears. That's really going to help with your balance here. All right. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. Gaze will be at the top of the mat. Begin to fold forward, coming into a T, reaching your heart forward and your leg up for three, two, and one. Release. Keeping your arms by your ears the whole time. Step onto the left foot and then the right. Right back to the back of the mat. Beautiful. Release your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Inhale. Reach your arms all the way up. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Now we'll do the left side. Inhale. Reach your arms all the way up. Clasp your hands, releasing just the pointer fingers. Inhale, reach up, squeezing your arms into the ears. Once again, your arms are gonna stay connected to your ears the whole time. This time we'll take a step with the left foot, point to the right toes. Gaze is in front of you, on the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, begin to fold or to bend, bringing your Heart forward as you lift your right foot, coming into a nice big T, your giant stick. One breath here, inhale, exhale, reach. 
coming back up slowly, maybe more gracefully than I did, but that's okay. Arms still by your side, take a step back, bring your feet together, release your arms, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Once again, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands forward, downward facing dog. We'll take two cleansing breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more on your own. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing. Hands, heart, eyes towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Wonderful. This time we're getting into the leg series. So we'll go ahead and start. We're going to start from eagle once again. So you've already been there. We already have our balance down. So this is going to feel really good in the body. All right. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your right arm under the left. Send the right hips down. Bring, send the hips down, bring your right leg up and over. Squeeze everything into the center. We'll just be here for one breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Bring your arms by your side. Find your balance. When you're ready, send your right leg back. High lunge with the airplane arms. Squeeze your shoulders back. Reach your heart forward. Come on to the top of your right toes. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Open up to the side. Parallel your back foot to the mat and sink your hips down and forward. Gaze comes forward. Inhale. Exhale. Press evenly into both the outside edges of both of your feet. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure your front knee is open and you can see your big toes. Flip your palms towards the sky. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, triangle. Bring your fingertips between your big toe and your second toe. And reach your right arm up towards the sky. Sink your hips down and bring your chin to your shoulder. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, sink your hips down, bending into the knee. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Just for a moment. Exhale, high lunge. Face the front of the mat. Inhale, step your back foot forward, pyramid pose. Inhale, interlace your fingers. Exhale, round the spine. Doing standing head to knee, bringing your forehead to your knee. You can release your hands when you reach the mat. Tuck your chin to your chest. Bend into the left knee as much as you need to, to reach your forehead to the knee. Pull in on your belly button. We'll stay here for one more breath. When you're ready to release, bring your palms back together. Release the pointer fingers. We're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time, keeping your hands by your side or by your ears, your arms by your ears, standing all the way up. Beautiful. Release your arms to your heart. Inhale, we're gonna bring our weight forward, coming into tree pose. You can use your hands to grab your foot and place it to the inside of your leg. 
remember not to press your foot into your knee. So you're either underneath your knee or above your knee. Find your point of focus. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Release your right leg down. Inhale. Reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale, coming all the way back up to standing, hands, heart, eyes towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now we'll do the left side. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, eagle, left arm comes under the right, left leg up and over the right. One breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one-legged mountain, release your legs, bring your arms by your side, pull your shoulder blades together. When you're ready, send your left leg back, high lunge with airplane arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together, bring your heart forward, and bend into that right knee, really pressing into the ball of your left foot. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Opening to the left side of the mat. Bend into your right knee. Check that you can see your big toe. If you can't, just go ahead and open that right knee a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale, sink your hips down. Inhale. Exhale. Flip your palms up towards the sky. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, triangle. Bring your low hand between your toes as you reach your left arm up towards the sky. Really bending into the right knee. Reaching up here. We're not sinking down, we're reaching up, twisting the heart open. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring your chin to your shoulder. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, high lunge, front of the mat. Inhale, bring your left foot forward. Standing up nice and tall, reaching up. On the exhale, tuck your chin to your chest as we swan dive forward, bending into the right knee. Bringing your forehead to the knee. Bend into your knee as much as you need to. If you need balance, go ahead and release your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. When you're ready, bring your palms back together, releasing just the index fingers. We're gonna come back up, rolling one vertebrae at a time. Your fingertips will be the last thing to rise towards the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your weight forward, come into tree pose. You can bring your foot to the inside of the right leg, either underneath the knee or above the knee. You can use your hands for support. Bring your hands to your heart center. Find one point of focus. Notice where your mind goes when we find stillness. Are you focused on your breath? Are you in this present moment? And release your leg. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the mat. Squeeze your elbows in. Inhale, slide forward. Release your big toes to the mat. 
This time we're going to begin the back bending series. So we'll press the hips into the mat and the big toes, the hips and the big toes into the mat. Really protecting the low spine by engaging our glutes here. All right, press your palms into the earth. Inhale. Exhale, begin to reach your chin, your chest, and your heart up towards the sky. Press your palms and your hips into the mat, pulling them towards you. Release your forehead. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, release your right ear onto the mat. Bring your palms by your side and let your heels hang heavy. Keep your gaze on the mat and exhale all your stale air. For all of these back bends, you can either choose your gaze forward or you can look up and back if it feels like a lot on your neck. If you're new to back bending, it takes time to build the strength in your neck, but it's absolutely worth it for your posture, for your spinal health. So I always encourage you to start with your gaze, looking up and back first and then bringing your head up last. And that's how we'll protect our spine in all of these back bends. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a Cobra Pose one more time. Inhale to prepare. Oops. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders. Press your big toe into the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Begin by re Gaze comes up. Chin comes up, heart comes up. Press your palms into the mat and reach your heart forward. Your belly button should still be on the mat, pressing into the earth. Inhale, release your forehead. Exhale, release. Bring your left ear onto the mat this time. Release your palms by your side and let your heels hang heavy. Inhale. Big exhale. Inhale. Big exhale, release. Wonderful. For this next series, you can either bring your chin onto the mat or you can place your mouth onto the mat if it feels like too much on your neck. That's totally fine. Just do whatever feels good to you. We don't want to strain your neck at all. Okay, so we'll start by bringing our hands underneath our bellies. You want the palms facing the mat. So you're on the tops of your hands. The top of your hand is touching most likely your thigh or your hips. You want to bring your palms to the edges of your pinkies, your pinky fingers together so it's as close together as possible underneath the whole weight of your body. This is actually really good for all the start scar tissue in your arms. Okay, so we're gonna do a half locust first. Release all the muscles in your left leg. Let them go, let them relax. We're only focused on the right leg. So take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, point your right toes, lift your leg as high as you can, at least 45 degrees angle. Relax the left butt, relax the left leg, point your right toes, reach up, reach, reach, reach. Three, two, one, release. We're gonna go straight to the other side. So relax that right leg, let everything go. Point your left toes, inhale. Exhale, release. Point your left toes and lift as high as you can, pressing your palms into the mat. Reach your left toes higher. Reach, reach, reach. Three, two, one. Let go. Bring your right ear to the mat. Remove your palms from underneath you. Palms face up. 
and let your heels go out to the side. Great job, inhale. Exhale. Okay, we're gonna do that both legs this time. So palms face down, squeeze them underneath you, bringing them as close as possible. Again, neither your chin or your lips are on the mat. Okay, this time we're gonna point both of our toes and reach them up as much as you can. Really press your palms into the mat. That's gonna help you lift your arm, your legs up, okay? Inhale. Exhale, reach your lip, legs up as high as you can. Point your toes. Reach, reach, reach. For three, for two. Can you reach a little higher? One, slowly bringing your legs back down. Release your arms from underneath you. Left ear to the mat this time. And let your knees, your heels fall to the side. Inhale. Big exhale. We're going to do one more round of locust here. So this time your hands are going to come not quite to a T, not quite to a Y, kind of in between, maybe towards the edges of your mat. Your hips are, your feet are about hips width and distance. We're going to press the hips into the earth, okay? So once again, we're going to reach our legs and our arms up off the mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, reach everything up. Give it all you've got. We're only here for three. Reach your heart up. Reach your legs up. Reach, press your belly button into the ground. For two, release your forehead. And one, release everything down. Right ear to the mat. In between these back bends, we really want to exhale all the air that we can. Just letting it go. Nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. Great job. Now we'll come into our floor bow pose. So to prepare, grab onto the outside edges of your feet. All of your fingertips are on the same side. Bring your chin back to the mat. What's going to help us here is really pressing our feet into our hands, just like we did in standing bow. Keep pressing your belly button into the earth, okay? Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press your hands, your feet into your hands to help reach your heart up. And if you can, lift your knees up off the mat. Reach everything up. Gaze comes up. Reach, reach, reach for three, for two, and one. Go ahead and release, bringing your left ear to the mat. Palms face up, release your toes. Wonderful job. Inhale. Exhale. We'll take one more breath here. Inhale. Nice, slow exhale for four, three, two, and one. Press your palms into the mat as we come to sit at the top of the mat. Bring your knees to touch and let your hips sit onto the ground between your feet. Preparing for our reclined thunderbolt. If this feels like too much for you, you can always grab a block and place it on underneath your hips. That should give you a little bit of leeway. All right, I'm gonna show you without the block though. So squeeze your knees together. If your knees aren't together, please stay here and work on squeezing your knees together. I know for me, it kind of feels like a lot on my feet sometimes, but that's okay. There's a nice stretch there, which is great, added benefit. So squeeze your knees together and you can sit up tall. If this feels like enough, I encourage you to stay here. If you wanna keep going and you'd like to, you can place your hands on your big toes and then bring your elbows to the ground. Keep squeezing your knees together. And if you can, drop your head back. Wonderful. If this feels good, 
you feel like you're in a happy place, I encourage you to stay here. If you'd like to take this to the last level, go ahead and bring your body all the way down and grab onto opposite elbows above your head. Keep squeezing your knees together. and Maybe you begin to reach your hips up a little bit. We'll take three big breaths here. We'll come out of this the same way that we came in. So if you're all the way on the ground, go ahead and bring your palms to your toes, elbows underneath, lifting up, gaze back. If you're ready to come up a little bit more, press into your palms, coming all the way up to sitting. And we'll bring the palms up to release. Great job. All right, now we're gonna come to the back of the mat sitting on our heels, preparing for half tortoise. Um, okay, ready? So sitting on your heels, we're gonna reach the arms all the way up. This time, we're going to grab on to our thumbs. So the thumbs are crossed, almost like they're kind of making a little heart, and reach your arms all the way up. Go ahead and tuck your Tailbone, we don't want to reach your heart forward, but rather tuck it underneath, knitting your ribs in. Inhale, reaching up, finding lots of length. And it's okay if you have to lift your hips up off of your feet, that's totally fine. We want to focus on keeping our arms by our ears nice and straight the whole time. And we want to bring our pinky to the mat before our nose. Okay, so reaching, reaching, reaching. Can you reach your arms to the mat, keeping a nice straight spine, reaching forward, feeling the strength and the length, bringing your forehead to the mat, <laughs> maybe kind of a hard on, and then your nose and your pinky fingers. Nice straight spine here, foreheads on the mat. Bring your nose to the mat, really reaching your arms forward. Notice that it's similar to child's pose, but we're reaching all of our energy forward, almost like an arrow. Only the pinky finger is touching the earth right now. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten your elbows. One more breath here. And then we'll slowly rise up the same way we came. So with nice straight arms. Squeezing in towards your ears. We'll come all the way up nice and slow with a straight spine. Oh, beautiful. Relaxing your arms by your side. Wonderful. Okay, so now we're going to come into camel, which really is our peak back bend. We'll bring our knees, hips within distance. You can use two palms to help you find the correct distance. Bring your palms to your low back and squeeze your elbows together. Notice how much that already opens up your chest here. All right, inhale, standing up nice and tall. And on the exhale, gaze will come up and back. Really squeezing your glutes here to protect the low spine. If you can see where the wall and the floor meet, go ahead and bring your palms to your heels. Otherwise, keep your palms on your low back. Relax your forehead, inhale, reach your heart up towards the sky. Exhale, one more breath here, really reaching your heart up like it's filled with helium. We wanna be nice and tall in our camel, reaching up. And exhale. 
to come out, bring your palms back to your low spine, coming all the way up. Your head will reach up last. Beautiful. Bring your palms onto your thighs or hands onto your heart. We'll take two big breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Sometimes heart openers can feel like a lot. Sometimes they might make you lightheaded. They might make weird feelings or thoughts or memories come into your mind. And that's okay. It's just stored, stored energy in your body that we're releasing. So just take a moment to feel what you need to feel. If nothing came up for you, that's totally normal as well. We'll take a nice big inhale together. Big exhale, release. <sighs> Wonderful. Our last class in our backbending series. Sorry, last posture. <laughs> oh, I cut my hair and it keeps coming into my face. <laughs> Sorry, I keep it to my face today, but that's okay. Getting used to new things always takes a little bit of time. Okay, so now we're coming into our rabbit pose. We'll stay seated on our heels. I'll bring your fingertips onto the inside of your heels and your thumbs on the outside. Stand up nice and tall. And on the exhale, we're gonna bring the chin to the chest and begin to round the spine like a cat, almost as if you got punched in the chest, how it would look if you were to really round the spine. And then we'll bring the forehead to our knees. Keep rounding the spine, bringing your forehead to the knees and the top of your head to the mat. Begin to lift your hips up. If your knees have separated from your forehead, go ahead and walk your knees forward. Really bringing your chin to your chest. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, and we'll slowly come up with the chin to the chest and release. Great job. Extend your legs out forward. Bend your left knee, bringing it to the inside of your right knee. We'll actually bend the right knee too. Reach your arms all the way up. This time we'll take a basket grab, grasp. So go ahead and interlace your fingers but release your palms from each other. Inhale, standing up tall. Exhale, folding forward, bringing your hands behind your foot, really bending that knee if you need to, and then bring your forehead onto your knee, tucking your chin to your chest. You might have to bend your knee a lot to be able to do this, and that's okay. The most important thing in this posture is that your forehead is on your knee. Inhale, exhale. And the next inhale, if you'd like to, you can begin to walk your heel forward. Just make sure that your forehead is still on your knee. Once it becomes difficult, just stop there and take a breath. Beautiful, we'll come all the way back up and exchange the legs. Bend into the knee as much as you need to be able to grab on to that left foot. Bring your forehead onto the knee. If you stay here, that's totally fine. We'll all take an inhale here. Exhale. And the next inhale, if you'd like to, you can begin to slide your heel forward, making sure your forehead is still connected to the knee. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we'll come all the way back up. Send both legs out long. Beautiful. Inhale, reaching up with a nice straight spine. Bend the knees as much as you need once again. Again, we're prioritizing our straight spine over everything. So reach your arms forward using your peace fingers to grab onto your big toe reaching your heart forward to find a nice straight spine. You need to bend your knees a lot. You can be right here 
with your heels almost to your butt, as long as your thighs and your chest are touching. This is a nice straight spine, and it does a lot better for you than rounding all. So reach your heart forward, finding a nice long spine here. Inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, if you'd like to, you can begin to walk your heels forward as long as your chest is still on your thighs. Gaze is at your toes, reaching your heart forward. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. Coming up tall. Bend your right knee, placing your foot on the outside of the left knee. Then bend your left knee and bring your foot to the outside of your right hip. All right. Reach your left arm up and over, trying to get your armpit underneath that right knee. Twisting open towards the right. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. With your left hand, if you'd like to, you can grab onto your left knee to help you twist a little deeper. And release, bringing both palms to the left for a nice little counter twist. We'll go ahead and release to the other side. This time bringing the left foot to the outside of the right knee and the right foot to the outside of the left hip. I know this is a lot of rights and lefts, but you've got it. Inhale, reach your right arm up this time, bringing your armpit to the outside of your knee. And with that right hand, you can grab onto the right knee. Bring your left palm behind you and gaze behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, twisting. We'll go ahead and release both hands to the right for a little counter twist. Wonderful. Extend your legs out in front of you. We'll come on to our backs. Bend your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Maybe rocking side to side. <sighs> Bend your elbows. Bring your shoulders onto the mat. Drop both knees towards the left. Gaze is either up at the ceiling or drop your right chin, your chin to the right. Your right chin. Wonderful. We'll take a few breaths here. And as you exhale, imagine your shoulders melting into the earth. If you'd like to, you can think of something that you're grateful for today. When you're ready, bring your knees into your chest for one more squeeze. Then bring your arms back to the earth and drop your legs towards the right, gaze up towards the ceiling, or drop your chin towards the left. Then on your exhales, focus on letting your shoulders get heavy and fall into the earth. You can close down your eyes here. And I offer you to think of something that brings you joy.
And bring your knees back into your chest. Give yourself one last squeeze. Preparing for a happy baby. Grab onto your thighs, your ankles, or the bottoms of your feet. And bring your elbows to the inside of your knee. Press your low spine onto the mat. If you'd like to, you can sway side to side. <sighs> Maybe straightening one leg, straightening the other, letting it feel good, whatever feels good to you. And if you want to make some happy baby noises with me, go ahead and relax your face. Inhale. Exhale. Fluttering the lips. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. Release your legs. Extend your legs all the way out. Let your feet fall to the side. Hands by your hips. Palms face up. I like to tuck my shoulders away from my ears. Close down your eyes. Preparing for Shavasana. This is your time for stillness. I encourage you to fight any urge to fidget or itch yourself or fix your clothes, whatever. Try to find stillness within your body and stillness within your mind. Any thoughts that come up, just acknowledge them, say hi, then let them pass by. If you've noticed that you've been following a thought for a while, just go ahead and let it go. Take a nice big inhale, nice big exhale, coming back to your breath. We'll go ahead and start our Shavasana together with the breath. Inhale, exhale. I'll let you know when it's time. Relax your forehead, relax your jaw. When you're ready, take three breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Begin to awaken your body, dropping your chin side to side, wiggling your fingers, your toes, rolling out your wrists and your ankles. If you'd like to, you can take a nice good morning stretch, reaching your arms up overhead, bringing your big toes to touch. Lifting your little spine off the mat. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Bring your knees into your chest. And roll onto your favorite side. 
using your bicep as a pillow. I always like to take a moment and thank Mother Earth for all that she provides. If there's any other gratitudes you would like to take, an intention you would like to set, or anything you just want to leave on your mat, I encourage you to do that now. And when you're ready, we'll come into a comfortable seat to close out class. Sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale. Exhale. With gratitude and joy. Thank you so much for joining me in class today. Bring your hands to your third eye center. And we'll bow forward. Thanks again for spending your time with me and really investing in yourself, spending this time with you. I hope you enjoyed class. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you thought, any feedback, um, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. I'm Nicole from Flow Into Nature.